Let's try to understand the difference between Docker volume and bind mount. What are options to persist data in Docker containers? They can be used to store data which is required to be preserved in case the container is stopped or gets destroyed. Docker volumes are completely managed by Docker and they are independent of the host machine's directory structure and operating system. Volumes can exist outside of the container and they are not tied to the container's lifecycle. Volumes can be very easily attached to multiple running containers at the same time. To create a volume and attach it to a container, you can use the docker volume create and docker run commands. On the other hand, bind mounts allows you to mount a file or a directory from your host machine to your container and they are available in docker since its earliest days. Bind mounts do not need to exist on the docker host and they will be created on demand. They rely on the host machine's file system having a specific directory structure. Bind mounts give you access to sensitive files and they can change the host file system to processes running in the container and this can have security implications. You can use docker volume if you want the storage to be managed by docker and storage which can be accessed only through the docker containers and the docker CLI. On the other hand, you can use bind mount if you need the full control of the storage and if you plan on allowing other processes besides docker to access the storage. 